So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what audio docking is and how to do it and how to add it to your stream when you're streaming. Then what it is, it's a simple thing. So when I talk, the music goes down. I'm going to show you an example of this right now. So let's go. So I've currently got music playing and like you can see when I'm talking, the music is going down. So let me stop talking. And it gradually goes back up. This is really useful for when you're streaming, even playing games, just talking or whatever. It's just so it optimizes your voice and leaves the music a little bit lower so your audience can hear it. But when you're not talking, the music goes up. So it kind of sets a bit of a mood. This is very useful. Yeah, let's teach you guys how to do it. Let's get into the video. So what you guys want to do is go on to this software, link in description. And once from here, you can see these different little virtual audio cable, voice meter, banana, potato, whatever. You want to go into banana and scroll down, just hit download or install. I do exe files, just make it easier. So install that. And the next one you want to install is virtual audio cable. I'll tell you what that does later on in the video. Just download that and restart your computer and then come back to this video. Okay, so once you've installed this, you just want to type in settings. Type in sound, settings like here, and then sound control panel. Once this is open up, you should get a panel that looks like this, and you should go onto the playback. Which on the playback, this should be set as default automatically, so your headphones. You do not want this as your default. What you want to do is scroll down, so you see these cable input. You will not need this, but these voice meter aux input and voice meter input. I normally select input, I'll show you what this means right now. So what this means is when you actually open the program, it should look like this. What this is, is the inputs, you've got the voice meter, which is the normal one, and then you've got the aux one. There's the two differences between the input and the aux input, is these two things. So this is just your aux input and the input here. I currently just use the input here which is this is where you get all your audio from so obviously when you're on firefox spotify etc so what you want to do once you're on this program is go into menu and just check these boxes which i have so this will automatically run on startup and it'll put it in your system tray so you don't need to worry about opening it checking if it's working so the main important thing what you want to do is go into this a1 in the corner and select your headphones if you have speakers or an extra perch, put it in A2. And yeah, the next one is all these channels. What you want to do is select your things like this. And then that should work and your audio should come through your headphones. Next thing is the main, the main point of this is your music. So you obviously want to duck your music down stuff like that so yeah i'm going to show you how to do that right now so what you want to do is come over here where it'll say hardware input one but mine says music because i've set it like this and you want to select the cable output what that would do is the cable output is a certain channel which it should go through and i'm going to show you how to make it so your spotify just goes through that channel you'll also hear it in your headphones so you would not worry about that so this just allows it to separate from OBS so you have a separate line that you can use compressors and other stuff to use it for. I'll show you that in a minute. So all you want to do is cable out put onto here. And this should this should all be fine. The next thing and the most important thing to make it allow to do this is you want to go to settings and you want to find obviously sound, what we was on before, and app volume and device preferences. I select that. And you should see Spotify and for the output you want to select it as the cable input this allows just Spotify to come through this cable input device so if I open up Spotify and play some music you can see it's going to come out of this certain channel here so compared to let's say Firefox YouTube on Firefox. So we have got Firefox. So this is not connected to the cable light port. So you've got this here. So we played a bit of music and this bar did not go up. 
it does go through your headphones also wouldn't worry about this this is just for stream then let's switch over back to the stream obs and show you how to make the ducking audio and make it go down when you're talking so let's go over now okay once you're over here when you want to head to settings audio and desktop audio 2 it's like this is cable input like so press apply and then okay but yeah also watch you here you want to set your desktop audio to the voice media input once you've done this there should be a odd in your audio mixer there should be another one here i've currently put it as music spotify but it should be the output what you want to do is that will now just play your spotify music so firefox so i'm going to show you and demonstrate it again that is going through your desktop audio so that will be your in-game audio and stuff like that so let's play spotify you see it's going through a different channel which is what you want so this is the filters you'll need for it to make it so it ducks the audio settings filters and ducking for mic this is this will be under the ducking for mic this will be under compressors or compressor and this is what i've set mine to the ratio is how how much you want it to duck down so if this was higher and I played music and I talked over it you can see how it dramatically drops down it's basically not even playing any music but if I go over here and set it to one play some music and I talk and you can see it doesn't really compress the music that much so you can select it what, it, what you really want it to I, I normally select it to 3.5 I think it's just perfect and yeah threshold is minus 42.5 this is your vocal so if you're talking how loud it is it's actually dug down to a certain point you type just have to select it to one milliseconds release 801 this is basically how fast you want the music to come back once you finish talking i select 801 because i want it to slowly come back not quickly come back and your output gain just keep it zero and then most important bit the side chain or ducking source you want to select is your mic aux this is your microphone and yeah so let's just show you again obviously the music you can hear in the background when i'm talking it is going down and it slowly goes back up this is very very useful for many cases of streaming and in the next video i'm probably going to make is how to get this little icon that shows what music you're listening to and when you switch your music it will change give it a few minutes because this software is browser based yeah like that very very cool and it looks amazing on your stream so yeah hope you enjoyed the video please leave a like peace out guys see you next time